Hi everyone and welcome to Crumbers and Tea. I'm here outside in my backyard because I am going to repot my Monstera. And a Monstera is a plant. So I wanted to show y'all that. So since a lot of reading and a lot of self-love and a lot of self-care that also includes um, learning about ourselves and what makes us happy or what are some of our hobbies, right? And I think that because I've been reading so much about all these, I've been reading so much about how I love myself and how to be the best version of myself and how to live in the moment, how to feel whole. And a lot of that doesn't stem from being in a relationship. It doesn't come from being in a relationship. It does not come from having kids. It doesn't come from anyone else besides ourselves. And with that, what I want to say is that many times we go seeking, we go seeking something or someone to fulfill us, to make us whole, to feel complete. I'm like, oh, you're the missing puzzle. Or you're the missing piece of my puzzle. But in reality, we, ourselves, we are our missing piece. We just need to find ourselves again. And, and I've been doing a lot of, I've been doing a lot of, uh, I've been taking part in a lot of what interests me. And one of that is planting. I never knew how to plant, or I guess I didn't, really when I gave it a chance or when I wanted to learn or when I thought it was so cute it died and it died and so I was just like okay I'm just not a plant mom and I think that's the that's like this thing like oh you're just not a plant mom if they die but what I've realized is that I just needed to, I just need to find what I genuinely care about what genuinely makes me happy what makes my soul light up and what makes me give it so much love and so I found this Monstera at Trader Joe's uh, a year ago, more than a year ago, and it just, as soon as I saw it, I was attracted to it, and that's the whole point of, we need to feel what's attractive, what what we're gravitating towards, right? And I got her, and her name's Betty, and in Espanol is Betty, and ever since then, I just feel so, I love taking care of her, I love watering her. I love making sure she's okay. I greet her, I talk to her, and I think I finally feel that, what people say, and it brings me so much joy. And so today I went to Ace Hardware or Jobs and Lumber. It's like the partners between them, and I got this smaller one because this one is too big, and I'm gonna, I bought new soil, which is this soil, and I'm going to repot her. So let me go rinse her, and I'll be right back. And something <laughs> and something that I want to share is that many times we're told all these things like oh you're not a plant mom mom had died or or that's for people that like plants or that's for this or that's for that there's all these there's all these myths that's what I'm gonna call it there's all these myths and these like people put up these people tell us what to believe literally we're taught everything and we believe it and what I think is so beautiful now is that I know that I'm limitless. I know that if there's anything I want to do, I can just learn it. I can just learn. Whatever it is that I want to do, I can just learn to do it. I can just learn. Every Everyone is willing to, there's someone that is willing to teach you or there are classes or there are books, right? And so all of this, the information is out there we just have to stop believing the lies that people have told us and we just have to go for it we have to know that we're limitless and that we can do anything 
We can do anything we want to do. We just have to know. We just have to know in ourselves that we can do it, that we're capable. And knowing that we have no limits and that we're capable is honestly, it brings so much freedom because we're going to learn like, oh, okay, like somebody told me I couldn't do this, but like I can. And we're not doing it to prove them wrong. That's not the point either. We're doing it because we know we can and it makes us happy. So I'm not doing this to prove anyone wrong. I'm not doing this because someone told me I couldn't. I'm not doing this because my plant died and I would want to give up. I'm doing it because it genuinely, once I bought her, I was like, oh my God, this is what it feels like. And it feels amazing to take care of someone or something. And it's not like a baby either. That's the thing that this is a plant and it brings you oxygen and it brings you life. And it's just one of the amazing things. And the way that I... I started learning was I went to get books from the library about house plants. So that's how I started. I went to the library and I got books about house plants. And I Googled like what books do people get, beginners, starters, how to learn about house plants. And I started with homeopathic plants first, like what are some natural herbs and medicinal plants that I should be getting. And that's how I started. That's how I started. I just basically Googled medicinal plants or herbs that people need to have in their house or plants that bring oxygen. And once I got all those books from the library, literally a bunch of books from the library, I read them, I read them, and most of them say the same thing. So most of them say the same thing. And it's all the same thing, like make it your sanctuary, make your home your sanctuary, however it makes you happy. Like it's all pretty much the same. And the only difference is like the plants and people talk about, um, you know, the different types of healing medicinal properties that plants have and just what it brings to your home. And that's literally how I started. That's it. And that's how I continued. I continued just to buy whatever makes me happy. I planted chamomile in the backyard as well, in my garden, because I've always wanted to say that, the garden. I planted chamomile for that reason, because I like chamomile tea. And I was like, okay, that's one of the herbs it says here, because it tells you all the herbs you can possibly plant that are good for you. I also had asked myself, do what will I take? What do I like? And chamomile was one of those. So I bought chamomile tea and guess what girl? Like it's been amazing. I love it because now my partner goes outside when he prunes it or when he grabs me some leaves, I just boil it and I have tea and we all drink chamomile tea. So it's a pretty amazing how it's just so amazing to see something that you grow and you love. And I also do that with basil. I love basil. I love pesto. If you know me, you know I love pesto, anything green. I think basil so I started planting basil I bought one I had so this is the thing I had bought one before had a really it died and so I think I was discouraged this was years ago years ago years ago and I when I lived in Davis and I was discouraged and I even cried literally had a funeral for basil I was also going through a really like tough time during that time and just all the emotions and it was sort of cathartic to bury her and have a little funeral and say some words because it was so cathartic in that sense to do this knowing what I was going through so I don't know but after that I was kind of discouraged without knowing it right and then um and then now I've been buying basil and now I don't have to buy her anymore I just propagate her and it's amazing amazing and now I can get to give her out as like a gift or just here's a basil I love doing that now and that's something that I two years ago me didn't even know that so I am so proud of myself and I hope that this encourages you to find a hobby to discover a hobby to discover what's inside of you because there's so much potential inside of us we are limitless like whoever told us no we have limits or like you can't do that or have a plan B or have a plan C literally no like you can do it all we are limitless we create our our universe and it's so beautiful and I hope this inspires anyone out there to just go for it like no one is gonna judge you no one is gonna say anything no one's gonna tell you how to do it right how to do it wrong like you're just doing it because you truly genuinely it makes you happy it brings a smile to your face and like that's it life is so beautiful let's go out there and make let's go find what makes us happy us ourselves not anything else thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video oh and look I put her in this beautiful tiny little terracotta pot, um, pot 
and then I put the stick right here so she can hug it, tie her up, put her little soil in, and just look, she's looking so beautiful. I'm so happy. Oh, it brings me so much joy. How beautiful. I hope everyone has a beautiful, amazing day today. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. I hope you have a wonderful, amazing, magical, miraculous day. Mm-hmm. <laughs>